Hey guys, Super Dog Wolf Final Wars here, and I am back with another video. Today we're going to be continuing the What If Heisei Godzilla was in the MonsterVerse series. AKA What If Heisei Godzilla and Legendary Godzilla switched places. This is going to be for now the sort of final part until we get the sequel to the new Empire. So for now this will be the final film, or the final part, for now. So for those who haven't seen Godzilla X Kong The New Empire, major spoilers ahead. For those who have not seen Godzilla X Kong The New Empire, I highly suggest you go check out the movie and then come back here to my, my little video. Now, keep in mind, this is I'm mostly going to be targeting the Godzilla side of the story, if not make it a bit longer. Like what I did with Godzilla, is it Godzilla vs. Kong? I will make the story a bit more longer and a bit more interesting, at least for the Godzilla side of the story. So, yeah. So, like the original movie, the story will take place a few years after the events of Heisei Godzilla vs. Kong. And just like the movie, they say Godzilla would rule the surface, while Kong would rule the Hollow Earth. Now, they say Goji wouldn't actually be a hundred percent like Legendary Godzilla. If you have, for those of you who are new to this particular video and haven't seen the other parts yet, I highly recommend you go check out the other parts, because they say Godzilla is not going to be like Legendary Godzilla. It's not going to be killing other kaiju just to keep the balance of nature. No, he's actually going after humanity, not the kaiju. Because, well, they mutated him, causing him to be the very thing that he is today. And, surprisingly, Heisei Goji's actually not going after the destroyer kaiju. If anything, he's actually leaving them alone. Yes. Heisei Goji will be considered as a destroyer, not a protector. Which means Monarch and the military are going to be trying everything in their power to take down Godzilla. But during the past few years, during basically the early events of Monarch Legacy of Monsters, Godzilla 2015, Godzilla, Aftershock, Godzilla. and during the events of the present day timeline of Monarch Legacy of Monsters, uh, Godzilla, Godzilla, King of the Monsters, Godzilla Dominion, and Godzilla vs. Kong. Now I know what you guys are going to be wondering, well, why am I not mentioning Godzilla X Kong Hunted? Well, this is basically showing off Godzilla hunting down Skeela, so he wasn't really doing anything that serious. If anything, he was just hunting down a destroyer kaiju. kaiju. He wasn't really doing anything that serious. Which is why I'm skipping, skipping that and jumping straight in Godzilla to call the new empire. So, Heisei Goji has actually did something kind of shocking during the past few years of destroying cities. And this is going to shock a lot of you, you guys, but he has been basically... Uh, hold on. 
this point, Godzilla well, has been doing a lot of kills on humanity lately. What I mean by that is, at this point, the world population has dwindled down to an estimate 2.3 billion from about 7 billion humans. At this point, the human population on Earth was practically dwindling. Which was honestly not a good sign for humanity. For the past several years, God's have been attacking cities over and over again, killing hundreds if not thousands of lives. And it's honestly crazy, which is why Monarch and G and freaking the military are growing more desperate to kill Godzilla. Normally, Monarch would be trying to defend Godzilla, but this is not the MonsterVerse Godzilla. This is Heisei Godzilla we're talking about here. The Godzilla that actually does not like humans. So, Godzilla is currently destroying a city. He's actually at New York City, and it's just a total chaos. And he was actually making his way to Rome, where Skeela is currently destroying it. He's currently almost getting done with destroying New York until Godzilla comes face to face with a new kaiju. Leviathan is the kaiju that arrives in New York and challenges Godzilla. Godzilla, since he's the king of monsters, accepts the challenge. The two kaijus end up fighting. At first, it seems that Leviathan is actually doing a lot more damage to Heisei Goji rather than T-Mat did. But eventually, Heisei Goji gains the upper hand. He doesn't kill Leviathan, but instead kind of chases him away from... Or just kind of tells him to go away or chases him away or whatever. Eventually, Heisei Goji makes his way to Rome where he actually comes face to face with Skeela. Well, Skeela roars at Heisei Goji, telling him to get lost. But Heisei Goji roars back and tells her that she needs to be the one to get lost. And of course, the two fight. Thanks to Skeela's evolved form, she puts up more of a better fight than she did with legendary Godzilla and actually gets a few good decent hits. Eventually, Heisei Goji was managed to gain the upper hand and rips off one of her legs and kind of eats it in the process. Skeela, having no other choice, turns around and walks away. With Heisei Goji being continually destroying Rome. Now, this now, I know what you guys are going to be wondering. Does this mean he's going to sleep at the Coliseum? Or no? No, he's not going to sleep at the Coliseum because, well, he hasn't been to the Atlantis. So, yeah, he hasn't really been there. But Godzilla does kind of sleep somewhere in Rome, it's just not in the Colosseum. He mostly takes a short little nap. And eventually, he 
wakes back up. No. Because he can hear the Iwi calling for help in, from the hollow earth. Now, I know what you guys are going to be wondering. Does Heisei Goji have a hatred toward the Iwis too? Surprisingly, he does not. In fact, he actually prefers the Iwis over for, well, the humans on the surface. It's actually a really interesting reason why. Because when he was still a dinosaur, when he was still the Gothosaurus, he kind of came across the Iwis. And they actually worshipped him as a god. They gave him offerings. And in return, he actually protected them from lesser big kaiju. Like somewhat kaiju that are somewhere around his original size before he became Godzilla. And he was at, and he's actually familiar with their distress calls. Because they called him for help before. And so Heisei Goji will be more willing to protect the Iwis. Just not the people on the surface. He's okay with the Iwis. He's actually really okay with the Iwis. He's actually quite chill. This is the people on the surface he has a problem with. Because, well, you can kind of see why. So Heisei Goji leaves to go get some energy. But before he leaves, he's ambushed by another new kaiju. And this kaiju is... Typhon, who is another new kaiju. This kaiju doesn't do a whole lot compared, compared to Leviathan and Stila, but eventually Godzilla defeats this kaiju and resumes his journey to get some nuclear radiation. Eventually, he makes his way to France and consumes some nuclear her, her power plant. We get the scene that was very similar to the film where Godzilla has a short little scuffle with the military. And Godzilla ends the scuffle by using his nuclear pulse and resumes feeding off the nuclear energy. Now, during the scene when Godzilla is leaving France, he is confronted by another kaiju. It's mostly these new kaiju are the ones who are kind of pick starting the fight. So, anyways, this new kaiju is Bastion. I know these names sound really weird, but honestly, these kaiju were rumored to be in the new empire. So, yeah. Um, anyways, Bastion confronts Heisei Goji and kind of puts out more of a better fight than uh, Typhon, which Typhon actually makes a comeback, and he, along with Bathmint, team up together and fight Heisei Goji. Since it's 2v1, Heisei Goji is actually interested to see if they will actually do some damage. They do some damage, not a whole lot to phase him, but eventually, Heisei Goji ends the fight by grabbing them, slamming them to the ground over and over again, kind of doing something similar to like Godzilla Final Wars, where Godzilla's kind of grabbing Rodan and Gyrius and King Caesar, just tossing them around, slamming them on the ground, you know, something like that, and moves on to Tiamat's domain. 